Welcome to the show, Doctors, Dreamers, Miracles. I'm your host, Miss Carl. Tonight, we have a very special guest on our show. Please welcome Dr. James Parkinson, the man who discovered Parkinson's disease. So, Dr. Parkinson, tell us about your essay on the shaky palsy. Well, the shaky palsy... Uh the essay on the shaky palsy was one of my well-known doctrines. It tells us about what effects the shaky palsy, or what is now known as Parkinson's disease, has on the human body. Wow! Tell me more! It has excellent details of how the body becomes tremulous in the hands and legs, they become slower when they move or rock, walk, and the people have trouble balancing their weight. Now, I also heard that you wrote an essay called The Effects of Lightning. Can you tell us about that? The essay on the effects of lightning was written because uh, there was a lightning strike in a house with two men in it and one man walking by. The house smelled like sulfur and the lead in the shop window was melted. It was fascinating. Their lower limbs were black, but once rubbed, turned a sort of pink color. Oh my, that's a little gross, but so fascinating. So, did you continue to study lightning? Yes, there was another time that I treated a farmer in Edmonton who was kept, uh, driving cattle on a stormy night when he got struck by lightning. He lost his sight for a while, but when he regained his, it shortly after. Some people believe that it was I who helped him regain his sight, but some do not believe. Personally, I think I should get the credit. Me too, actually. Well, thank you, James, for being on our show today. Let's welcome our next guest. This man is responsible for changing the way we treat cancer. Please welcome Alfred Gilman. So, Alfred, you invented chemotherapy. What is chemotherapy exactly? Chemotherapy treats cancer. Cancer happens when cancer cells enter your body and multiply faster than normal cells. Radiation attacks the cells and kills them by damaging their DNA. Usually this results in a tumor. What's a tumor? A tumor is a growth of cells in one area that becomes a big mass of tissue in your body that you don't need. Chemotherapy kills off some of those cancer cells, preventing tumors in the first place. I heard that you had a partner who helped you in the lab. Yes, Louise Goodman. We discovered chemotherapy together. He also helped by making a textbook used today by lots of doctors around the world. The book was about G-proteins, cellular behavior, cancer, and cancer treatment. Martin Robbill would also help with the discovery of G-proteins. What are G-proteins? G-proteins are a family of proteins involved in transmitting chemical signals outside the cell and causing changes inside the cell. Wow, thank you so much today for being on the show, Alfred. Thanks to all our guests tonight. You guys will have to tune in next time on our next show. We're going to have the amazing story of the first brain surgeon in the United States. So tune in next time on Doctors, Dreamers, Miracles. Thanks for watching.